This treehouse located in western Guatemala on the shores of Lake Atitlan is going to be our home for the next 24 hours. We're super excited to live the simple life out here. But first things first, let's go check out the treehouse. Whoa! This is sweet! <laughs> That's crazy! All right, we just put our bags down. Now time for the tour. We're starting here at the outdoor patio with an awesome outdoor swing. What a fun addition to the house, right? And then back here, you have three lawn chairs where you can sit and enjoy nature. Now let's head up the stairs to the treehouse. As you can see, it's totally off the ground. So it really is a tree house. We made it to the front porch where we have a picnic table if you want to eat and chill. And we also have towels provided for us when we take a shower. Let's head inside. One cool thing about this tree house is the door. It reminds me of a spaceship because you literally have like a huge space where you have to really pick up your legs to get inside. As you walk into the treehouse, you first see a beautiful painting of Antigua and the Wi-Fi router. Quick note, the Wi-Fi does not work. We're trying to look on the bright side though, and hopefully without Wi-Fi, we won't be looking on our phones as much, and we'll truly be present in this awesome experience. And then you also have the recycling bin. And on the other side, you have plenty of books to choose from if you wanna read, a couple of candles, and a big window. One thing we love about this treehouse is the amount of windows and the amount of natural light. As you move into the bedroom, you first go through this super cool arched doorway and then you see the bed. It's huge, it's really comfortable, it's actually two twins smushed together but you really don't notice. It's really comfortable. And then included with the treehouse, you get your water so you don't have to worry about buying your own water because the water isn't safe to drink here in Guatemala. Beside the bed you have two nightside tables and lights. Towards the back of the treehouse you have a circle window where you can see outside into the trees and you actually have a dream catcher right in front of it. It's super cute. There's literally windows on every side and there's even a skylight above. Considering this is a treehouse, we have a ladder that brings us up to the second floor. This place is so cool. So once you make it up to the top, you see a huge couch and behind it, a window looking out into the trees. There's even some stained glass accents. I love it. And curtains if you want to close them at night. Fairy lights! What a fun addition! I love it! Yeah, be careful. <sighs> okay, let's go to the <laughs> bathrooms. Here's the bathroom. It has a door with a nice crescent moon cutout. Very much reminds me of those like old outhouses, which is kind of cool. Then you open up and literally the whole back wall is made from tree bark, which I love. You don't see that very often. And right near the door, you have hooks where you can put your toiletries and towels, which will come very much in handy when I need to take a shower at night. And you have a light. Again, if it gets dark, you'll be able to see. The floor is made out of stone. I personally think this will come in handy because you don't have to worry about mopping up the floor because you're outside. <laughs> And then you have the toilet, trash can, toilet paper. Then you have the shower. The walls are made from tree bark also, and the floor is also made from stone. And then you have cold and hot water. And let me tell you, we felt the water and it gets scalding hot. Very unexpected in an outdoor shower and in a place this remote. And then you obviously need to wash your hands after you use the bathroom. So the sink is right here. And then we also have a kitchen. The door also has the crescent moon cut out. We didn't know there would be a kitchen here. It's super awesome, also outdoors. And it has pretty much all the essentials. It has a stove, sink, 
all the utensils, cutting board, stuff to wash your dishes with, a fridge, coffee maker. Man, this place has a lot. The stove looks to be propane, and the tanks are actually out back. There's a trash can, and there's a broom if you need to sweep. So we're in the rainy season right now, and it definitely rains a lot. So what's really helpful is that all of this outdoor stuff, the kitchen, the bathroom, even the porch area, is covered. So if it rains, we can still do everything we need to do outside. All right, now let's go chill. So we're just gonna sit, chill, probably get in the water, and that's basically all the plans we have so far for the day. I love this, it's like a vacation. <sighs> so relaxing. All right, let's see what it's like from above. Now we're going to walk to Santa Cruz for some lunch. From our treehouse, there is a beautiful path overlooking Lake Atitlan that we are taking to get to lunch. Oh, careful! <laughs> There's a sprinkler! Ah! Ah! Oh, now I'm wet. Oh, tried to avoid the sprinkler. I had to take it. Shortcut, woo! It turned into a long cut, there we go. All right, let's go get some food. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Wow, he's a boy. Wow, <laughs> I feel so lucky to like, how many people get to drink this coffee here, you know? Oh, that's just, man. Most of the restaurants here in Santa Cruz are actually reservation only, especially for dinner, but apparently lunch is just like a walk up and ask for food. They have English menus and it doesn't look too expensive. So we're getting really excited to try some of this food out. Lake Atitlan is just so gorgeous. It's really hard to capture in camera, but there's the green rolling like jungle right next to the water. It's just so precious with the tiny little docks and the volcanoes in the distance. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. It's just been amazing. The water hasn't been too cold. Uh, I really love it here. This place has a ton of different options of food and it's very vegetarian friendly, which is great. And it's really good. And the nachos slap. And we got dinner to go. So we got tofu curry and falafel sandwich. Uh, we didn't really want to walk all the way back to town tonight. We're just trying to chill. So we're going to bring this back, eat this for dinner. I'm really excited. All right, let's go. Why not jump in again, I guess? Woo. Yo, there's waves down there. But there's also a wave right here. Ooh, that was good. Dinner was really good. We just chowed outside. But this place is seriously really, really cozy. I like the just wood at that time makes me feel like I'm camping. But then you have like you don't have all the bad parts about camping. You know? Big well, comfy bed. We're big glampers. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> we've grown to really love glamping. It's so nice. You get you go outside, but then you're not like you're suffering. 
But honestly, no hate on camping. I, I like that too. But this is this. I could I could get used to this. Good morning, everyone. Great night's sleep in the treehouse. The bed is really comfortable. It's really big. One thing about sleeping in this treehouse is a lot of the windows don't have blinds, so it gets really bright when the sun rises. Right now, it's only like 7.30, but I am up. There's not much option to sleep in. Someone is busy up in Adam. What? Hello, love. Good Hi. morning. What you doing? For breakfast, we have leftovers from dinner last night. Yum, 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 yum. I am honestly loving this. I love the water. It's so calming. Kayaking can be super meditative. And also, I'm just super excited to see more of Lake Atitlan. So let's go. Wow, this is nice. We're out here bright and early in the morning before we head to our next city, and it is peaceful. Dang. Some information about the lake that we're on. So it's Lake Atitlan. There are, I believe, three volcanoes rimming it. You can see them, they're huge in the distance. And it's actually really famous for going coffee, as we tasted earlier. So kind of a sad fact, but apparently Lake Atitlan has kind of turned into the toilet bowl for many of the communities around it because they don't have wastewater treatment plants. So if you're interested in making a wastewater treatment plant, come to Lake Atitlan. I think we'd all be really appreciative. Apparently that hotel right there is called Casa de Mundo. It looks really beautiful. We've never kayaked to get something before. Rika's putting the kayak away. Thanks, Rika. But there's a cafe right on the lake, so we're gonna get some Lake Atitlan Guatemalan coffee right here. Unreal. The view is so pretty. You can see two volcanoes. The lake is so calm. Boats drive by. Oh, I love it here. Look at that. That's El Fuego. You can see it from here exploding. You see that puff of smoke there? We were up there like four days ago. Yep. Way up there. That's crazy. Yeah, anyone who stays in Santa Cruz de la Laguna, even if you're not the treehouse, but if you are, wherever you are, just kayak up a little bit towards San Marcos, try it, and then just get a coffee. I'm really stoked that we stopped here and did this. Cheers. Oh, just like that. Coffee success. Gracias, amigo. Gracias. Let's crank that. Let's go. After our kayaking trip, we went back to the treehouse, got our bags, and set off for a new city. Stay tuned for our next adventure in San Marcos, La Laguna. 
Make sure to subscribe if you're interested in following us to 50 countries and comment if you have any recommendations or thoughts on where we should go next. See you in four days.